Crown King and Queen sealed with a kiss. Isn't it amazing? Tens of thousands braving freezing temperatures, including some Aussies who made the trip over to witness the once in a thousand year event. A wave from the palace balcony and a kiss. <laughs> to cheers from tens of thousands of people below. King Frederick X and Mary, Tasmanian girl turned Danish princess, now officially a queen. There were no crowns. This was a scaled back event in line with the relaxed style of Danish royalty. But the streets of Copenhagen were packed. Official proceedings began just after 1.30, Mary waving from the car on the way to Christianborg Palace, along with Frederick and their son, 18-year-old Christian, the incoming heir. Shortly after, Queen of 52 years, the deeply popular Margrethe, was in her carriage and on her way. The formalities were simple. At a Council of State meeting inside Christianborg, the outgoing Queen signed the Declaration of Abdication and the deed was done. Then, the moment crowds had been waiting for. Out on the balcony, a visibly emotional Frederick. The Prime Minister officially proclaiming him King. I take on this responsibility with respect, pride and great joy, he said. Then roars for Queen Mary. Polls show the Australian is more popular than her husband, an undeniable asset. A very public display of unity from the couple after an infidelity rumour recently made headlines. Their four children joining them outside. And again as they made an encore appearance. Australians among those cheering on the homegrown Queen. Everyone here like really likes uh, Queen Mary and they, yeah. um, they're really She's excited for her. One last wave back at home. The royal colours now transferred there. The final marker of a new era for Denmark, for Europe and for Australia. Someone else who knows what it's like to become king, although in a much grander ceremony, certainly bigger, is King Charles, who sent his congratulations to the new royal couple here. And he said... I look forward to working with you on ensuring that the enduring bond between our countries remains strong and working with you on issues which matter so much for our countries and the wider world. Charles wasn't here, of course, because there was no coronation, no physical transfer of the crown, instead that declaration. But those extraordinary scenes certainly made up for any lack of pomp, where we saw over 100,000 people on the streets of Copenhagen as the new king stepped out onto the balcony to rapturous cheers and applause. Perhaps even louder was the sound when his wife stepped out. Queen Mary and the couple kissed and followed then by their young children. Not so young anymore, their eldest, the Crown Prince, is 18 and seen as now as Europe's most eligible royal bachelor. It was quite a sight and Frederick too was moved to tears at times. That plus the kiss, very reminiscent of the scenes we saw here 20 years ago when they were married. And along with the crowd cheering on were many Australians. There were some 9,000 Australians who called Denmark home, uh, waving their flags. Some brought along their koalas. And many celebrated the day that no one who was here will ever forget. Mm. All right, well, let's go live to Queen Mary's hometown of Hobart now, where we find Isabella Stashkovsky. Is a good morning. The party's still going in Tassie, is it? Look, there's been a lot of partying overnight, so there's a little bit of a pause in the party now as people kind of wake up with those sore heads. There were plenty of people in Hobart viewing uh, that ceremony last night. They were full of pride and excitement, especially locals from Taruna near where we are this morning, which is, of course, where Queen Mary grew up. We're actually at the Sandy Bay Reserve, where a blue gum is going to be planted in her honour. A sister tree will then, of course, be planted in Denmark as well. I've got the local paper here. I just want to show you what it looks like this morning. Arise Queen Mary. They've got a special spread there for her. That's the front. And then here on the back, a nice photo as well. We've heard from plenty of people, though, plenty of locals who are very excited uh, that a girl from humble Hobart has now become the Queen of Denmark. It includes a group of breast cancer survivors who've been dressing up as Queen Mary, going out on the water this morning. And then, of course, plenty of people from her own suburb. But here are some of those people who last night were out and about celebrating and 
of course, having a few little viewing parties as well. It's really nice being a Dane in Tasmania because it's the one connection that people always ask you about. What's it like having um, a student of your own high school becoming queen of a country? Oh, look, I think it means a lot to especially the Truna High School community. It would mean a lot to them, but um, also a warm embrace for, from all Tasmanians. So look, we are waiting for the party to restart and certainly people here in Tasmania are hoping that the new king and queen will be paying a visit pretty soon. For now, I've got my little crown with me, so I might wear this for the rest of the day around Tasmania. What do you guys reckon? Does yeah, it suit it's you? Yeah, I think it works. Looks like it's going off down there. Yeah. <laughs> well, celebrations have been in full swing in Hobart, a little city full of pride for Queen Mary. From high teas to beachside picnics today, Melbourne reporter Isabella Stashkovsky met with locals, many of whom have their own story about Queen Mary. From humble beginnings right here in Hobart to Queen of Denmark, it really is a fairy tale story for the ages. And you can bet that royal fever is well and truly hitting Tasmania. Yeah, we're very She's gorgeous. Proud. She'll do a beautiful job and she'll represent us beautifully. <laughs> I'll give you this anyway. You can have the crown for a little bit. How does that feel? <laughs> Queen for a day. Dreams do come true. She's Prince, Princess Mary for now. She can stay a princess. She doesn't, need, she doesn't need to be a queen. She's okay. She's a princess of your own heart. In Hobart, the youngest of four children to Scottish academic parents, Mary grew up in Taruna, a bit of a hidden gem, where locals are celebrating the coronation with pride. The original Mary Donaldson was Queen Mary's grandmother. And Queen Mary's grandmother came from Scotland as a 10-pound pom <laughs> and she lived in housing department next to my grandparents. Most delightful lady with a very strong Scottish accent. It's pretty incredible too you know, when you consider that I used to watch her walking to school as I called the bus to my school <laughs> every morning. She'd be walking south to Taruna High. I think everyone in Taruna has got some sort of connection to Mary somewhere down the line. The Hobart-Copenhagen connection is one that's only growing stronger. A blue gum, Tasmania's floral symbol, will be planted at the Sandy Bay Reserve in Queen Mary's honour. It can live up to 400 years old. A sister tree will be planted in Denmark. We felt that it was really important to do something quite symbolic and, and that had some longevity. So for a little city uh, in a little state in Australia, it is a, a great source of pride. And while the royals have gained one new title, another could soon be on the way. The Tasmanian Jack Jumpers are hoping the new Queen and King will become patrons of the club, attending a game like Mary's Tasmanian relatives often do on one of their last visits to the state. It was quite surreal. I mean, it's not every day you get to meet a prince and a princess and, um, and just chatting with them. It was just so normal. It was like just talking to a couple of mates. We had jerseys on their seats with their names on it. And the sheer excitement in the four kids' faces when they got to their chair and they saw a, a jersey with their name on it. And, and to me, that just suggested that there was no entitlement there at all. The excitement around Hobart will continue until the Royals' next visit. For now, there's certainly a little extra pride in the air for Queen Mary. It's amazing. It just shows that anyone can do anything. Yeah. So to the new Queen and King, it's pretty clear you will certainly always have a home away from home here in Tasmania. <laughs> hey there today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?